Representatives from Russia, Ukraine, Russian-backed militant groups and the Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe have failed to agree on withdrawing tanks and weapons from the demarcation line in East Ukraine. The so-called contact group met again in Minsk, Belarus. Delegates from the Ukrainian side did, however, praise the success of a renewed ceasefire. Participants of the contact group commended the largely holding ceasefire in some parts of Donetsk and Lugansk regions at the end of August this year. One of the results has been that this has allowed the start of the education process. The UN Human Rights Office, meanwhile, significantly revised up its estimate of casualties since Russia began their invasion of East Ukraine in March 2014. The UN now says at least 8,000 people have died. Unremitting clashes since February have undermined a so-called truce in East Ukraine, but talks continue to stop the fighting and include envoys from Russia, Ukraine, Russian-led militant groups and the Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe. However, earlier this month, the leaders of the Russian-backed militant groups Donetsk People's Republic and Lugansk People's Republic said they would strive to end all violations from September 1st, timed as the children of Ukraine start a new school year. It is important for us to maintain the ceasefire that was reached on September 1st. It is important for us now to secure for our citizens quiet and calm nights, without fire and without shellings. The Minsk agreement, brokered by the leaders of Ukraine, Russia, Germany and France, is regarded as the bedrock of international efforts to end Russia's invasion and occupation of areas of East Ukraine. The group is set to gather for another meeting in Minsk on September 22nd.